Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Most welcome to Triangular Kamal Academy. Today I am going to solve a 21 first week assignment solution for the students of standard 6. This is math assignment and assignment number 5. So this assignment from the chapter 3 integers, uh, including the lesson number 3.1 to 3.6, the topics related with the addition and with the addition with the using number line. Seven integers are given here, five, minus one, minus three, minus two, zero, six, and nine. So there are total seven integers are given here. Now there are four consecutive questions. First question, separate the integers and non-negative integers from above numbers. And number B, uh, place all non-negative integers in number line. Number C, arrange all integers according to their values. Number D, find the sum of integers by placing them in number line. So there are total four questions and uh, instructions is given here. Solve the problems uh, by placing integers in number line. And evolution rubrics, Number A, separate integers. And number B, placing integers in number line. And number C, identify the smallest and the greatest number. And number D, addition by using number line. So inshallah, we will try to answer all questions properly to get the maximum number in upcoming 40 months assignment. So uh, dear students, First question, separate the negative and non-negative. Separate the negative and non-negative integers. So now solution, answer to the question number one. Given integers are, first write the all integers. And non-negative integers mean non-negative integers started from zero to positive number. So here zero, five, one, six and nine. So the five numbers are non-negative. Non-negative number means zero with positive number. And negative number, there are two by the negative sign before the number minus three and minus two. So there are two numbers. So first question answer is done. Second question, uh, place all non-negative integers in number line. So first, write the formally given integers are and separate non-negative integers. Non-negative integers means zero and positive numbers. All non-negative integers are shown in the number line according to the question demand. First draw a number line and the middle position give the zero and the right side is the positive number and the left side is the negative number. So now place all non-negative numbers in the number line and here zero, one, five, six, nine. So uh, below the figure, you can write the figure name number line. So I think now second question is also done. Now the next question, third questions, arrange all integers according to their values. So uh, there is not mentioned here ascending order or descending order. That's why we have to write the both case, smallest to greatest or largest number to the smallest number. First write the all given integers, uh, all given integers, and there are total seven integers here. Now, integers in ascending order. Ascending order means smallest to largest. Identify the smallest number. And here the smallest number is minus three. And the second smallest number is minus two then zero and start all non-negative numbers according to their values. So now integers in descending order. Descending order means large number to smallest number. So first write here the greatest number, then second large number, third large number, fourth large number and zero. Zero almost greater than negative number. So should remind it. So now second question, uh, third question answer is done. Now the next question, and this is another most important questions. 
find the sum of integers by placing them in number lines. So in your academic book, maximum times we have done only addition and subtractions of two integers. And one may be the positive number, another may be the negative number, or both may be the negative or both may be the positive. But here the question is, do add all numbers. Yeah, sorry, do add all numbers here by using the number lines. Okay, first step. Uh, first step, uh, it is uh, write the all numbers, nine, six, and write here the nine numbers. So now, it is required to add all integers by using number line. So give attention everyone, I'm requesting to all of you. Uh, here you can see the sum of the all non-negative integers will be 21, nine plus six plus five plus one, there will be 21. That means you have to write the right side, that means positive number must be greater than 21 because here the addition, if you do the wrap here, an addition will be, here the addition is 21. So the right side uh, in the, uh, portions must be greater than 21. So now, uh, right here, if we do the zoom here, I think you can see clearly. Okay. Uh, now step one, draw a number line and divide the whole number line into the equally smallest segment and hold any one point at zero and merge around 22 on the right and minus 10 on the left. So just uh, approximate uh, value, the left side we, uh, we have mentioned here up to minus 10. In the right side, we have mentioned here up to 22. Also, you can mention up to 25 in the right side or left side up to minus five, no problem. But it should be, must be greater than my, uh, 21. Okay, step one done. Now, step two. Uh, going nine step from zero to right and came at nine. Definitely the first number is here plus nine. So plus nine is the positive integer. We have to move right side and always counting started from zero. So now if we move the uh, nine step right side from zero to nine, then the first second is step down. And the next number is plus six. Plus six is another positive integers or non-negative number. So now start from nine to move Six step right and came at 15. So second step down. Yeah, second step down. After completing, sorry, this one will be third step. I have done here mistake, okay. Uh, second step, this is now, this one will be the third step. So this one must be the fourth step and this is fifth, okay. Now next step, Going six step from nine to right and came at 15. Third step done. Now the next is fourth step. And the next number is plus five. So now start from 15 to plus five unit. Uh, going plus five step from 15 to right and came at 20. So now first three integer number, a positive number done. So another positive number is plus one. So now step five, uh, going one step from 20 to right and came at 21. And finally, all positive number done. Now zero, zero is the non-negative number. So uh, next number is zero. So we do not need to move left or right from 21 because zero is not negative number not positive number, it's only non-negative number. So in times of zero, we don't need to move right side or left side. That means after completing the positive number, we came now at 21. So now start negative numbers. Okay, uh, this one will be now. 
step number this one will be the six step and this is seven okay so now six step going uh, next number is minus two definitely minus two means negative integers definitely you have to move left side two step left so now going two step from 21 to left because here this number is negative so now we have to move left side and it started from 21 and two step left and it's completed at 19. The next number is minus G. So now go three step, going the three step from 19 to left and came at 16. Finally, our answer is 16. So finally we can say, or finally we came at 16. So. 9 plus 6 plus 5 plus 1 plus 0 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 will be 16. And if we write here plus and minus 2, the two operations sign together, that's why we have to use here bracket. So now final answer is 16 by using number line. Uh, just we have uh, done addition of the seven integers number. So now this is done. Dear students, uh, just uh, we have completed our assignment. I hope this is the last and final assignment for the for in mathematics. Uh, so I think the up to five assignments you can do properly. And just you will get 40 marks out of 100. Just submitting your assignment, you may gain the full marks. So my request to all of you, please write your assignment properly. And thanks to all and to visit my channels. So if you like my content, please subscribe my channels and hope to see you all in the next assignment and wish you all the best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.